I've got this one prompt for you that does five jobs. I wanted to simplify this for you. And I've got this, this one prompt that does five jobs. Here's where, what it looks like. This way you can start looking at how you can start using this. We're going to go over the five different jobs and look, it's really unlimited. You can plug and play this into so many different things. I've already tried it for, you know what? Let me just show you. I want you to follow along, open up ChatGPT, open up Gemini, open up Claude. I use this mostly on ChatGPT. This is my ChatGPT version. It's 03. And we're just going to grab that prompt that you saw on that screen. And we're going to grab here. You know what? I've got a better one for you. This one, this one is is more fun. This is an everyday use for it. And so I want you to start thinking, what can I use this for outside of what Tristan is about to show me? Think of lists. Think of now, am I going to use this for grocery shopping? And yeah, the answer is yeah, because take a look at what I'm going to do here on ChatGPT. I'm going to dump one of these prompts right here. It's the grocery list one. Role. What's your role? Well, you're a nutritionist. What's a task? Plan a weekly shop for $75. You can do whatever you want. Do $25. Well, maybe not that low, but you know, do, do some amount of what your budget is. Family of four, vegetarian dinners. To, you know what? I would probably say I love to eat sweets as well. So throw in some sweets in there. Format it to two columns, tone, friendly, and practical so that it happens. Let's see what it populates. And remember, this one is 03, so it may take a little bit longer. And if you want to even set a task for this one, you can so that it just sends you something every two weeks, every week on Friday, whatever you want it to be like. But it's outlining it for you right now so you can see on my screen what this actually looks like. And if we're paying attention to this, it gives you the cost, too. Like, this is the type of stuff that I'm looking for to make my life easier. And once I get this down, I can then modify it and say, you know what? I don't need this. I don't need that. Remember that for the next round. All right, let's go to number two prompt because that's number one. I'm going to go to number two. That one was number one right there. Number two is the weekend trip. Like you want to get away somewhere super fast. I put Austin itinerary. I love Austin. I, I'm out of LA. But if I'm going to go back to this, I'm going to grab now the prompt for Austin. And by the way, if you need this prompt, I'm going to put it into the chat below. This way you could just grab it and use it, modify it. Remember, it's the same prompt everywhere. So we're going to just copy paste that one in there, make it a weekend trip. Let's see what it populates. I want you to start thinking, maybe I could do it for Disneyland. Maybe I could do it for Universal Studios. Now, what ride should I go on based on wait time, right? Or what about Santa Barbara? If I'm going to drive there, how long does it take me? Let's set some things to do. I want to go to a restaurant or two. See, you can do whatever you want with this. Think of this as, as an actual admin for planning out your day. And if you want to use operator as well, you see on the left, I'm going to zoom into this one so you can see, uh, you see where it says library codex operator on the left. You could turn that one on if you've got the pro version and you can have it then go into everywhere on the web and start booking things. It'll prompt you and say, hey, do you actually want to book this? Is this what you want to do? Right? So that's a whole different category uh, of level. But for now, let's take a look at what we've created here. And go through it. All right. Three days of Austin vibes. Friday, South Congress Groove. Love that. Saturday, Zilker Sunshine and Red River Nights. Wow. I don't know that I've ever... Have I ever been to Stubbs Barbecue? I like the name. I've been to the amphitheater. Hmm. Look at this. Brunch beats ACL moment. Stubbs Gospel Brunch, ACL Live at the Moody Theater. Anyway, that's... I, I love this, right? It makes my life easier. All right, let's go to prompt number three. Let's add this one back. Workout plan. <laughs> I I use this one. I love this one. And I modified it, right? Right there, it says personal trainer, design beginner, workouts that protect sore knees. I, I indicated that I wanted something where I could alternate and work out my whole body 
on a daily basis, not overworking any part of one part of my body. Uh, and it gave me something great. So I'm going to just grab this and put it into chat. Now I'm going to share something with here because right now, remember we're running off of O3. Let me remove this one. We're running off of O3. I'm going to switch it and run it off of 4.0 now just to see, show you how fast it is when you pop it into 04. It starts populating it really fast, uh, less research, but it's now it's going to outline it Monday through through Friday. And then you can say, well, add another day, take away a day. What about this? What about that? Whatever you want to do, right? If you just got your arm fractured and you still want to work out, which happened to my daughter, right? I still made out a workout plan for her. So think of this as an unlimited person that's going to help you show up to work out. I don't know about you, but when I have a plan to show up to work out, so this has helped me out a ton. All right, let's go on to number four and let me copy paste it and then share you with you what I've got here. Number four is one that I also use. Reading Roadmap, Roadmap Role Librarian, pick five creativity boost books under 300 pages. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't use a creativity boost one. I used one biographies. That's what that's the one I used. But I wanted to put one in here for you that you could use to have a little bit more fun with. And you see here, uh, here's your creativity boosting mini library. Steal Like an Artist, by the way, amazing book. The War of Art, Reverse Art of War. That's on my list to read. Keep going. I have not read that one. Show Your Work, have not read that one. Uh, and Manage Your Day, I have Day to Day by Jocelyn K. I have it. Interesting that it brings up Austin Cleon for three of these. But regardless, uh, you could see how it populated them. Uh, and let me just share that with you as I was doing it. See, it populated them right there. Uh, and let me zoom into to that. There we go. Steal Like an Artist, The War of Art, Keep Going, Show Your Work, and Manage Your Day. And you can tweak it and say, hey, you know what? Instead of that, I want to, I want to pick five, uh, five biographies. Five great American biographies. And if you misspell everything like I do, don't you worry about it because it doesn't care. <laughs> so I'm going to come back and say, well, Tristan, you misspelled everything. All right. So there you go. You've got five. Let me scroll down so you can see that one. Frederick Douglass, Steve Jobs. Oh, Steve Jobs and Frederick Douglass, both amazing. Just Kids, haven't read that one. Movable Feast, have not read that one. Wright Brothers. By David McCullough. I didn't even know he wrote that one. So just gave me one that I might read. All right, last one. Let's go and take a look at one special one. You may use this. I haven't used this for the example I'm giving. Let me grab what's on my screen here first. I've only used it for where is this? Uh, birthday speeches. I've used it for graduation because my daughter just graduated. So uh, roll. Dad task, one minute graduation speech for a high schooler, right? And then you could put whatever facts you want. You could do this for uh, a toast for people getting married. You could do this for so much, right? And now let me share my screen so we can go through this and put it into ChatGPT and see what it gives us here. I'm going to pop it in here. Remember, we're on. 4.0, so it's going to be much quicker than 0.3. And it's straight out giving you an idea. Now, you're not going to read it word for word, so make this your own, right? Make sure that it has your character and your tone uh, as you're doing this. But the point of this is, look, you need to start using AI for the everyday use of things. And one thing that's helped me is I put the AI logo, the AI app, at the very bottom of my phone, right there, I have two of them. I have Claude and you see uh, ChatGPT. So I want you to start using it this way. If you think this is useful to any of your friends or anybody else, please use it, subscribe, share this with people and click on that little bell. I appreciate you.
Have an awesome day.